Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll be explaining what a viscosity cup is, how to use it, and how to read a paint can, and all the info that it tells you. So we'll have a look at the products I'm using here to start off with. It's uh, Standox 2K Clear. We can use it at a 3 to 1 or a 4 to 1 ratio, and uh, we're using it with 2K Hardener, so we're going to mix it up at a 3 to 1 ratio. Um, on the side of that can, it also had a picture of a cup, which said DIN 4 or Ford 4 cup, and it also had some temperatures and some times there. So the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, the time was 16 to 18 seconds. So that means that this paint, once thinned down and mixed up, should be running through that cup, which is a DIN 4 cup, which basically just means that the hole in the bottom of it is four millimeters. Uh, so the paint should be running through that cup at 16 to 18 seconds for optimal spraying at 20 degrees. So uh, the temperature will actually uh, change the viscosity. It's just like in your car engine, uh, when the oil is hot, it's gonna be a lot thinner than when it's cold. So we'll just fill it up. And the second that we start it, we want to pull that finger straight off, or thereabouts. You've got a couple of seconds, uh, give or take, either way. So it turned out that this uh, clear coat didn't actually need any thinner whatsoever. So a lot of guys in the trade, so that was uh, 17 seconds uh, straight out of the can. So that, that was no thinning required. A lot of guys just... Uh, don't even read the can properly, they just say oh, it's 10%, 10%, they just put 10% in with all their clears and they're actually over thinning their uh, colour so you are not, you don't have as much body, it means uh, the clear will actually die a lot sooner. Um, you've got the other side is sometimes if it's too cold or if you're using a high solid or VOC clear you can end up having it too thick and that can also lead, lead to some uh, other issues. Uh, may, maybe solvent boil is one of the issues you can have, which is when the paint's too thick, the uh, paint can actually skim over on the top, trapping the solvents on the inside, which will end up actually turning into bubbles, air, air pockets inside, trapped inside the paint. So now I'm taking you through a separate base coat color. So we did the clear coat before, that was our Standox clear, and now we'll do our DuPont base coat. Uh, it's the same thinning ratio on the side of the can. It's on the side of every single paint can in automotive. You will have a reading on there with a DIN or a Ford 4 cup. So 3 to 1 ratio for this base coat. Some base coats are mixed up. At, most base coats I've found are actually 2 to 1. But DuPont is 3 to 1. So you mix that up. You're better off leaving it a touch thick if you're not sure. Uh, leaving it a little bit thicker because it's easier to thin it down. Once you've got it thinned down, you can't take the thinner out, obviously. So the second one in where there's a picture of that cup there, same as the clear coat, 16 to 18 seconds at 20 degrees, which I'm at the current temperature, I'm at 20 degrees in this workshop on this day. So if it was extremely cold in your environment, you may want to actually take your paint into your spray booth or your oven to actually preheat your paint and then take your viscosity cup readings. Because if you thin it down when it's cold, then you, you then take it into your booth and warm it up, it will make it even thinner. And so it turns out that at this, uh, uh, thinning ratio I use there, it's actually still quite a bit thick, so I was running through it 24, to, uh, 24 seconds, so it needs uh, a little bit more reducer in it. We'll just uh, do this by, just by guess. So just putting a small amount in, have a look at it on the stick. And look, most painters don't use viscosity cups, but um, whether or not I use one or not, I still want to know how to use one and that's the purpose of this video. A lot of guys don't know how to use one, so hopefully you guys can learn a couple of things out of this. Um, this uh, color I'm using here is actually a candy. This is a ground coat for the candy on a Mazda 3 brand new color. It is called uh, Soul Red, and um, 
I'm going to take you through uh, the viscosity cup on the uh, top coat candy as well. And after that we've also got some clear coat, another separate clear coat. So obviously once you finish using your viscosity cup, clean it out properly to stop any contamination uh, into the next time you're going to use it. So this is our candy colour here. Uh, we're doing the same thing, it's the same as the other base coat, it's a 3 to 1. So I'm uh, thinning it down again, same ratio, and we'll take our readings. So hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the rest of my work. Uh, I'll be uploading the colour matching on this uh, same, same colour, this candy, how to colour match and how to spray paint a candy car. So we're just running it through. And at the very end, I've uh, just made a still image of a paint can and I'll actually explain the rest of the uh, details that you have on a paint can and what they mean. So still that one's running quite thick, about 27 seconds, 28 seconds. It sometimes can actually help if you've got a mate there to help you doing stuff like this because uh, you can just say, all right, you take your finger off the, the trigger while I uh, start the stopwatch, but doing it by yourself is okay. Another way of also doing it is just dunking the entire cup inside your paint and then just pull it out, and the second you pull it out, you, you, so you don't have to put your finger on the bottom, you just pull it out at the same time as you start your, your timer. But I just found that makes a bit more of a mess on the outside of the pot, obviously of the cup. So just after reducing it a touch more, we'll run it back through. So it's uh, pretty important to do this uh, when you're doing stuff like a candy or um, if you want to take your painting to the next level and get extremely good finishes, it's the kind of thing you want to do. Um, although most people don't do it. Even a guy, uh, he's an Irish guy I work with, and he um, he didn't even know what a viscosity cup was, and he's been in the trade for a long time. I was quite surprised, actually. So, even guys, that are, this is a, uh, I tried my channel to appeal to the DIY guy that's doing a couple of dints and scratches in his own car at home. I want to appeal to the guy that's been doing this for ten. 20 years, he might still be able to pick up a hint or a tip or trick off me, so that's probably part of the reason why I've had such success on YouTube is that I take a lot of deep time and detail in my effort, I also take a lot of pride in my work. Um, I've only been doing this for six or so months and already got around 2,000 subscribers, so big thanks to my subscribers for uh, and my supporters and people who have got me on Facebook for watching my vids. Without it, I probably wouldn't uh, put so much effort into making more. But I have been looking forward to making this one for a while and just recently got around to it. So that's about where we want it. Uh, right on the money there, 16 and 18 seconds. So we were uh, right on 17. And this one is uh, Duke's Own Clear, what I'm mixing up here. So we've, uh, we actually buy this in a 20 litre drum and we put it into these Standox cans just for easier use rather than having to use the big tap. So it's a 2 to 1 clear, this one. Uh, this one can be mixed up uh, with up to 5% reducer. I was actually a little bit surprised on some of these results that I got, being that uh, most of the time I don't even use uh, viscosity cups. Uh, I actually thought that it may have gone through a little bit slower. I thought it may have actually needed the 5% reducer because sometimes I just, uh, out of habit, just put a splash of reducer in uh, because it's what we always do. And it turns out that this actually ran through quicker than the recommendations without any thinner at all and you'll be able to see that here so 
between 16 and 18 seconds was what it said on the can, same as the other clears and pace coats. So 15.5 seconds, uh, you can't really make it much thicker than that as you've already got no thinner in there. Uh, you've already mixed it up at the correct ratio, so we just go back over that uh, paint label and I'll do my best to explain what the rest of these uh, things here mean. So the first one is your mixing ratio, which is 2 to 1 for this product. Uh, second up, you've got the thinning ratio, which is up to 5%. Uh, that means no more than 5%. Uh, then we've got our viscosity cup, which is the third one, which you all know how to use now. After that, we've got the sort of spray gun fluid needles that you can use and fluid tips, 1.3, 1.4 for a gravity-fed gun. You've also, after that, got 1.5 and 1.7 for a suction-fed. The one after that, uh, we've got the uh, evaporation and tack-off times in between coats. The one after that will tell us our curing times and the final one will tell us our infrared curing time. So hope you guys have learned a lot from this video and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.